Hey, collective. So this is going to be a collective reading. Collective, I want to start by saying thank you to the individuals that genuinely like support my channel. Uh, the individuals that have been rocking with, rocking with me for these past two, three years that I've been doing readings on YouTube. I want to uh, genuinely tell you guys that I really, really appreciate you. Um, I don't say that enough. Um, and... I kind of struggle with communications. That's kind of why, I, you know, come across as like kind of like standoffish. And, you know, that's just something that I deal with personally. And I really don't want to go any deeper into that. Uh, I did speak about it on my other channel. And I might have spoken about it on this channel. But, you know, that's just something that I'm dealing with. Something that, you know, I have going on personally with me. But I don't mean anything by, you know, being like that. That's just, you know, my mannerisms. That's just how I am. But I do want to thank the individuals that, you know, genuinely rock with me. And that's genuinely sending that love uh, towards me. And, you know, um, you know who you are. I just want to uh, thank you. But, um... Yeah, that's just something that I struggle with, you know, like. Okay, so we have fresh start here. Okay, so you're you're being given a new opportunity here, a new beginning, or this could just be you, you know, kind of, wow. I'm getting, you could be in the energy of like, if you were somebody that was kind of like guarded or closed off or you felt like you had to, you know, show up a certain way, you don't give a damn about that no more. That's what I'm getting. But you are getting a fresh start here. Yeah, we have acceptance. So this could be you accepting yourself here as well. And, you know, I was getting this energy uh, the other day. Um, it's a song. I really, this like one of my favorite songs. Um but the lyrics in the song go, uh, no, I'm not flawless. I'm scarred up and I'm fine with it. This could just be, uh, you in this energy of acceptance, but like those, uh, lyrics where I'm a, a link that song as well, but it's like, you could be stepping into some energy of accepting, you know, everything that you got going on, things that, you know, you may feel like are flaws or, you know, just in general life, you know, just life is going to cause scars or you're going to have some type of, uh, you know, something that you're dealing with, something that you're going through in life in order to grow, learn, and, you know, just move forward and become a better version of yourself. But everything that you deal with in life, you know, you can either use it to inspire you to continue to move forward and become better, or you can allow it to uh, hinder you and block you from, you know, growing and evolving. And I'm getting whoever you are, you could be in a space of like self acceptance here. And so you feel like this energy of relief or just this fresh start. Like when I was uh thinking about that song yesterday, um, it was just like a, you know, like a relief. Okay. Like you're nobody's perfect. We all go through things in life. You know, you can't walk around thinking that you got to show up a certain way in the world to appease other people. Like, fuck them. Pe Look, I mean, I ain't trying to be, you know, mean, but shit, you can't go throughout life trying to show up a certain way because you don't want to, yeah, confirmation because you don't want to upset people or you don't want people to, you know, think this about you or think that about you. When the people that you are trying to, you know, uh, appease or, you know, I'm getting impressed, so I don't know, take it how it resonates. But the individuals that you are trying to appease, them individuals got scars. Them individuals done been through things in life. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. When you learn to accept your flaws, accept your scars, and stop trying to, you know, um, I don't know, it could have been a situation as to where you were trying to be this individual. Like, maybe it could be like... Some in regards to perfectionism, or it could even be something that you dealt with, you know, in the past or in childhood could be significant. And it caused you to feel like you had to show up a certain way or you couldn't, you know, do anything wrong. You couldn't make any mistakes or when you did have individuals that, wow, so that could be what it is. Like you could have had people, I'm getting somebody could have been criticizing or heavily censoring you. So take that how it resonates, but 
That could be something that you dealt with all your life, being criticized by your family, being heavily censored by your family, you know, having these individuals try to suppress just you in general, like it could have had you blocking your light. And like you were holding back, not even being your true authentic self. While I'm also getting something in regards to, uh, you know, your personality or showing your, your full, you know, personality. I can definitely re resonate with that as well. Like it's a lot of times that I will hold back just who I am and not really show my full personality. And it's not necessarily that I'm trying to be, you know, perfect or anything, but you know, it's a lot that I've dealt with just in content creating just in general, you know, um, so, but that's a whole nother story. So maybe this could be something that you're dealing with here is it's like learning to accept your flaws and understand that you're not perfect and you're not, you ain't meant to be out here, uh, trying to impress no damn body, appease nobody, or, you know, just, I'm getting dim your light to make other people around you comfortable because you got people that's used to you being at the bottom or you don't, you got people around you that, you know, uh, don't like seeing you stand in your power because you were always quiet or you were always shy or you were always reserved. And now you're outspoken. Now you're stepping more into your energy. I don't know why I keep getting your Venusian energy. Uh, but you're stepping more into your power is what I'm getting here. Like you don't give a damn about, you know, uh, rubbing somebody the wrong way. Now you're not going to go out there and intentionally try to rub somebody the wrong way, but, um, <laughs> wow, no pause, but I'm getting like whoever you are, like, you're not going to go out there and intentionally, but you're not going to start, you know, or continue not start. You're going, not going to continue to dim your light. To make other people around you comfortable. To, you know, not be your true authentic self. Because in your past, you know, you dealt with a lot of... I'm getting censoring. Somebody has been, been being censored by their family their whole life. That's what I'm getting. You could have been censored by your family your whole life. And I was guided, you know, earlier in the reading I started, you know, I was speaking on, you know, thanking individuals that genuinely support me. Um, I got a lot of people that watch me that don't like me and they know who they are, you know, whether it's, uh, just people that don't, somebody that don't like me or, you know, and I never understood that. Like, why would you watch somebody that you don't like? But I'm really getting, it's like, it could be somebody who's like trying to keep tabs on, uh, what I do here as well in regards to my reading. So, but, um, I got people that watch me that don't like me, whether it's family members, whoever. And, you know, in the past that bothered me, but now I'm in some, uh, fucking energy. Like I don't really give a damn about that, about that no more, you know? So it just is what it is. But you know, a lot of the times and uh, like star seeds, light workers, spiritual people, they, uh, you know, grow up in family dynamics where they are always, you know, kind of outcasted or pushed to the side or, you know, suppressed, you know, just because you're into whatever you're into, I'm getting anime could be significant, or it could also be just you being spiritual, you know, like, wow. I'm also getting like, somebody could be like a, like a nerd. You could have been like a nerd growing up. I'm getting like the big Coke bottle glasses, the big, you know, like when you were growing up, not when, you know, it's hot and attractive to be a nerd. Like, you know how that works. Like, not that, like when you were growing up, this is who you were. This was a part of you. That's what I'm getting. And like, it's like you're stepping into your energy. You're stepping into your power. You're also no longer allowing people to play in your energy. You're no longer allowing people to play in your face. You're no longer allowing people to try to take your spiritual inheritance or take what's divinely meant for you through censorship, through suppressing, you know, you or through trying to just block you from being your true authentic self. That's what I'm getting. Somebody can't stand seeing you in this energy. Yeah, like you're happy. You're celebrating. I'm also getting something in regards to your work here. You're going to be celebrated here uh, at work or you have a lot of people that want to work with you or you have a lot of people that are proud of you 
for taking your power back. You have a lot of people that are proud of you for finally kind of, you know, letting your guard down and letting, okay, wow. So yeah, <laughs> letting your personality show. So maybe that could be something that you're dealing with, you know, as well, similar situation, but you're about to be celebrated here, but this could also be you uh, feeling some sense of release or relief. Like you no longer have to, you know, kind of hold back. You no longer have to be apprehensive. You no longer have to let what you're dealing with block you from just doing you. You know, part of the reason that, you know, I do struggle with, you know, socializing communication is because I am on the spectrum, you know, but that's a part of me. I'm not going to allow that to block me. You know, I can look at it as something that's a hindrance or, you know, I can accept what's going on with me, build and move forward. Of, of course, you know, it's going to be times where, you know, I'm, you know, it's misunderstood, but I'm not about to allow that to block me and I'm not about to dim my light anymore to try to fit, you know, whatever narrative that people want to have in regards to me. So, you know, take it how it resonates. Maybe you're dealing with a similar situation because we are all essentially just reflections of each other. We're all dealing dealing with similar, you know, situations. It may be different in whatever aspect, but I know that somebody couldn't can resonate with what I'm talking about. It's like, you know, all your life you block yourself, block your light, you try to dim your light because, you know, you're afraid of actually speaking up, like actually having a voice because you've been suppressed or you've been told that, you know, you can't you know, feel however you felt when you were younger, like that takes a toll. That causes tremendous scarring when you're uh, taught or indoctrinated as a child or when you're forced to believe that, you know, your opinion doesn't matter. You can't feel however you feel and you're constantly like silenced. Like you got to understand that a lot of stuff that you deal with, you know, just in life, like I said, you it could cause blocks and you not even realize it so yeah so i'm getting like you're moving forward here is what i'm getting new opportunities you got a lot of opportunities coming in for you you have a lot of blessings coming in for you here i've been getting this a lot for the collective um yeah you have a lot of blessings a lot of opportunities coming in for you something is also going to be restored here as well and i'm getting this because like you're taking your power back you're standing in your power and you're being unapologetically you you don't give a damn who don't like it and who don't like you it just it is what it is i'm also getting like somebody if you do have a situation where you got somebody that's you know that don't really like you but just is trying to wow i'm getting <laughs> trying to keep tabs on so you can have somebody that's like um you know on your social media maybe you don't even have social media maybe you go in and out of you know um could be like um what is it deactivating reactivating your social media accounts or you could just be getting rid of your social media accounts you know in general like it's like you're tired of somebody like somebody I don't know. Like you got it's people that are very competitive. Um, and it's like when you finally start standing in your power, like people see that as a threat. People that, you know, suppress you all your life, blocked you all your life, or, you know, saw you as the shy, kind of docile. You never really spoke up for yourself. You was always non-confrontational because, like, you didn't like arguments or you didn't like to, you know, whatever. But you never really spoke up for yourself all your life. When you actually start standing in your power, you're going to have people that feel some type of way about that. And that's, like, low-key going to, like, it's going to piss a lot of people off. It's going to piss people off around you that you would expect to love you, support you, and want to see you standing in this energy. But you know the individuals that are actually going to appreciate you standing in your uh, power and being your true authentic self. It's going to be the individuals that are a part of your soul tribe. So, like, you could be dealing with a situation as to where you got people, you know, around you that really are upset seeing you stand in your power. But you got people that are a part of your soul tribe that are celebrating here. I'm also getting some in regards to the divine celebrating. Celebrating you. You receiving a lot of recognition just for being strong, for being courageous, for being brave. 
for being able to be your true authentic self regardless of what you've dealt with here in the past. Yeah, wow, I'm getting put some respect on your name. Somebody needs to put some respect on your name. Like, whoever you are, it's beyond just you being, you know, um, eccentric. Because you can be somebody that's eccentric, but this is you. It ain't no front. You see what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no front. You went from being shy, docile, you know, your Coke bottle glasses, like I said, maybe in childhood, kind of being nerdy, always, uh, while I'm getting, having a lot of interesting facts, just knowing stuff, just being, I'm getting inquisitive. You could have had people around you, like if you grew up in an environment where you had people around you that weren't really into branching out, you know, just into the world, learning new things, learning about different cultures, uh, learning about, you know, the planet, learning about just life, you know, expanding, being spiritual. If you had people around you that weren't really into that and they called it, you know, weird or made it seem like, you know, now that it's mainstream or now that you are connecting with your soul child because you are in this energy, somebody's now accepting that. Somebody's now accepting it, but somebody can't stand that you are receiving recognition from your soul tribe connecting with people that genuinely love you and support you and these could be individuals that you don't even know a lot of your support is going to come from people that you don't know people that you know are a part of your soul tribe when you actually stand in your power when you stop allowing whatever doubts you had in regards to yourself to block you when you stop allowing whatever doubts you had or other people had in regards to you to block you when you stop allowing that to hinder you then you start connecting with like-minded people then you start connecting with your soul tribe and the individuals that you got around you that really can't stand seeing you stand in your power that really can't stand you see it's, look really can't stand you that really can't stand seeing you connect with people that genuinely love and support you or you know uplift you those individuals are slowly going to fall away i'm getting like the divine is this is something like you are protected but I'm getting like you have some type of spiritual inheritance or I'm getting something is destined for you or your birthright. Your birthright is to have this abundance of love, support and people around you that genuinely, uh, you know, want to see you grow, advance and move forward. So, yeah, you're connecting with your soul tribe, a group of like minded spiritual people. That's what I'm getting. People that appreciate you, people that appreciate you regardless of what you got going on. Regardless of what you got going on that you feel like is a hindrance or, you know, uh, could have been a block to, to you in the past. Like you got people around you that love you and appreciate you. They don't care about none of that. They don't care about none of that. They like the fact that you're quirky. They like the fact that, you know, you're eccentric. They, you know, like you are going to start connecting with people that genuinely want to see you grow and expand, genuinely appreciate you, genuinely love you. So know that. The love that you receive, the love that you get from your soul tribe outweighs the individuals that you had to deal with in the past. The individuals that, you know, that fake ass love or the individuals that, you know, never really, you know, just because somebody's blood. And I said this on uh, in a, that previous reading, um, just because somebody's blood, it don't make them a part of your soul tribe, period. You can have people that's your blood relative that's really like your op in, you know, in the light, in this lifetime or in, you know, the spiritual realm or in past lifetimes that, you know, people that have betrayed you in past lifetimes, period. Somebody also, uh, it's like somebody's trying to monitor how fast you are like, Somebody likes when things are slowed down for you. Somebody likes when doors are shut in your face. This is somebody that you, I'm getting somebody from your past or somebody you grew up with. Somebody likes that. But I'm getting, it's like you're getting a fresh start or it's like a whole new energy coming in for you. Like somebody trying to steal your spiritual inheritance. I'm getting like, because you are now clearing your energy, it's like you're about to receive this burst of just, I'm getting like, it's something in regards to you feeling like a weight has been lifted off of you. And it has. Because somebody around you, 
that really secretly don't like you has been, it's something in regards to you being spiritual. It's something in regards to your life purpose. It's something in regards to somebody trying to monitor your life, like something that you're doing. I'm telling you. So like, if this is you being on a platform or if this is, you know, could just be your social media accounts. It's like somebody's been trying to um, control how successful you become or something like that. Like somebody's trying to been trying to, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting like somebody is upset that something is about to start improving for you or picking up for you or something like that yeah i'm telling you movement forward we got the two of wands we got the three of wands like you're going to be celebrated at work this could be you receiving a lot of recognition or support from people that are a part of your soul tribe people really really like your work here that's what i'm getting Taurus could be significant to you here because there's a lot of pinnacles here and then we have the hierophant here yeah, it's like you're moving forward. Yeah, the six of swords. Uh, it's like you're taking whatever whatever it is you dealt with in the past, whatever you dealt with just in life, whatever you dealt with, you're taking it and you're using it to become a better version of yourself. Um, somebody's also not going to be able to steal your destiny or swap your destiny or whatever because it's like you're standing in this energy of like well, a fuck it type energy. Fuck it type energy. Like you ain't about to be out here. You're unapologetic. And you're not about to dim your light to, you know, make other people around you comfortable, period. And I'm getting to let somebody know this has nothing to do with, you know, how you look physically. This is about your energy on a spiritual level. And because you are standing in your power and doing that healing work, you are glowing up on a spiritual level. That's what I'm getting. Your finances are about to start to improve. I don't care who don't like it and who don't want to see it. It's about to start to improve for you. Let they hate and ass sit from the sidelines and hate and be upset about it because something is about to turn around for you in your life. If you've been struggling in regards to finances, you are going to have a surplus of abundance. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, this message is for individuals that are a part of my soul tribe. You know who you are. Like I'm tired of picking up on energy of people that's, you know, watching uh, my readings and watching it because they got people that they don't like and they don't want to see these people, you know, receive this spiritual inheritance or they're happy when they see somebody slow. Like, no, like people that are a part of my soul tribe, you know who you are. This abundance is coming in for you. You are about to level up after somebody did something to try to stop you from receiving this spiritual inheritance is something that is divinely meant for you from the divine from god i'm telling you it's like you are being celebrated for the hard work that you put in you are receiving this blessing because of the hard work that you are doing to grow to expand to heal to understand yourself to come to a place of acceptance no longer out here trying to fit in. No longer out here feeling like you got to try to fit in. Like, no. Yeah, if you into uh, Star Wars, you into whatever you're in, you into Star Wars, you're into, uh, I'm getting something in regards to uh, LARPing. I'm also getting like something in regards to, um, it could be like, uh, like dancing, like expressive dancing, but, um, yeah, something in regards to, yeah, expressive dancing, or maybe it could be something in regards to like a, um, like you got some type of saber, you have like a wand, or you have like a stick, or it could, I'm also getting something in regards to, um, I always pronounce it wrong, but, uh, Capriola, Capri, Capriola, Cap, the, the, um, I think it's like a martial arts form of dancing. I have a friend that does that. Yeah, like whatever it is you're doing. Like, you're being your true, authentic self. Like, period. And, yeah, continue to express yourself. Continue to express yourself. Continue to move forward. Um, Yeah. 
And don't like, I'm getting it's important that you clear your energy because somebody is trying to, uh, you know, kind of infiltrate. This is somebody that never really supported you, never really even liked you. But this individual could be trying to, uh, like somebody knows that you have this spiritual inheritance coming in. Somebody also knows that you're very, very good at manifesting here as well. This person has seen you manifest. This person knows that you are good at manifesting, but it could be a situation as to when you started, you know, kind of, um, it's something in regards to somebody being inter intermingled with your energy. It's like somebody's trying to intermingle themselves, you know, with your energy. And this is somebody that always, you know who this individual is. It's somebody that always felt like you were I for being spiritual. But when this individual saw you manifesting and leveling up and connecting with your soul tribe, then this individual tried to, you know, get in your energy. So take it how it resonates. Yeah, it's like you're moving forward here. You got a lot of opportunities coming in for you here. That's what I'm getting. I'm also getting something in regards to like you having a lot of hobbies here as well. A lot of things that you're good at here uh, is also something in regards to um, it could be painting. It could be um, herbs or it could be some type of, oh, wow. Okay, something in regards to the moon phases, something in regards to you protecting your energy uh, yeah, like you're about to force everybody out of your energy that been playing your energy and trying to block your uh, spiritual inheritance. And because of that, something is going to start to improve for you. So all those individuals that didn't want to see you succeeding, all those individuals that did underhanded shit to try to block you from moving forward, like them individuals are being forced out of your energy. That's what I'm getting so that you can move forward. Individuals that, you know, didn't want to see you uh, level up financially or tried to stop you when you were leveling up financially. Like God is protecting you and protecting the spiritual inheritance here. That is, is something that's destined for you. Um, yeah. You could have also been dealing with depression here as well, feeling low, feeling defeated, you know, because you were struggling financially. You could also be somebody, you know, uh, when your money is funny, you, you feel some type of way. I definitely can resonate with that. Like when your money funny, you feel some type of way. So, you know, you could have been, you know, kind of down, depressed. All of that is about to improve for you. I'm telling you. Yes, yeah, like some type of like just a uh, release. Like listen to that song. I'm going to post that song. It's like it's the stuff that you've been through in life. It's stuff that people don't even know about. It's things that you that overcame in your life that people don't even know about because you stay to yourself. You keep things to yourself. You really don't, you know, ask for help. If you like, you will ask for help, but you don't really like to ask for help from anybody. That's what I'm getting. And like, you could have been in a position or a situation as to where, you know, you are being gifted a spiritual inheritance because you've done the healing work and somebody tried to take that from you. But it could be somebody that's used to you being broke or being a broke person in the family. So take it high resonate. Or it could just be somebody that, you know, felt some type of way about you, didn't like you, or you could have even been betrayed at work. But like, whatever this is, it's like once you accepted it, you took your power back. You started understanding what was going on. You started understanding how these low vibrational karmic individuals will try to block you and take your spiritual inheritance. Like you started protecting yourself. I'm telling you, like everybody that played in your energy. Like if you got people that's watching you that secretly don't like you or something like that, like them individuals might want to stop doing that. Yeah, Six of Pentacles, we got the Nine of Wands. I'm telling you, like, you are about to level up financially. I'm also getting, like, you are receiving favor here. With this Hierophant here, the Four of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles here, we got the Three of Wands, the Two of Wands, Three of Wands, Six of Swords, you're moving forward, Nine of Wands, and the Six of Pentacles. Like, you are receiving favor from the Divine and moving forward here. Period. You know, people that are trying to get in your energy that really don't have the best intentions towards you or even karmic lovers trying to get in your energy. Like, no, because you've done the healing work, you are paying attention to the red flags. You are all, you are also not 
in any uh energy of feeling like you gotta uh you gotta be in a relationship or you gotta be with somebody like you could be in some energy like you're okay with being single you're okay with being by yourself you're not going to rush into anything i uh picked this energy up in a previous reading that i have not released yet and i was kind of apprehensive as to whether or not i was going to release that reading because uh like the camera kind of cut out so i was like maybe it's something that i meant to not you know, post. So, um, you know, I may post it unlisted because, uh, I know like at this point in the reading individuals that are still watching or individuals that genuinely rock with me, because I'm pretty sure I done been pissed some people off <laughs> confirmation. Give me just a second. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I done probably been pissed some people off, you know, earlier in the reading. So they probably, uh, you know, like kind of did left the reading or clicked out of the video or disliked the video always you know whatever but uh so whoever is still watching this video is somebody that rocks with me so i'm going to uh link that uh reading in this reading but it's gonna be on my unlisted and i might not even list it to my unlisted playlist so if you are still watching this reading uh you're going to see that come across that whatever you know top of the video or wherever it come across you know whatever but you're going to see that so um yeah but it's like now that you're in this energy or you're moving forward you got real true genuine love people that love you support you coming in to connect with you so you may be uh connecting with a new love here as well somebody that's uh understanding patient um somebody that's um I'm getting understanding, patient, calm, just very, this individual has a very uh, divine presence about them is what I'm getting. This is somebody that has done the work. Uh, this could also be somebody that's been uh, single for a long period of time. And like I got in that reading, you could be somebody that's been single for a long period of time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you got somebody, you got people that ain't going to be happy that you received this favor. You're receiving this spiritual inheritance. It's being returned to you. Something is being restored. Your finances are being restored with this fresh start and acceptance. And it's because like you accepted what was going on. You know, you uh, understand that there are, are things that you cannot change and you're not going to harbor on what's been done and over what you cannot change. It's like you're moving forward towards new opportunities because you are in that energy. You are receiving new blessings or you are receiving blessings here or this abundance this spiritual inheritance i'm telling you like if somebody did do something where like uh you were receiving a spiritual inheritance and they did something to try to like uh destroy that it's going to be returned to you but possibly in a different form so you're still going to level up because it's meant for you to uh have this abundance here is what i'm getting so you're going to level up I'm getting spiritually and I'm getting financially, spiritually and financially. Uh, for some of you, I'm getting like something is going to start uh, picking up or picking back up. So this could be in regards to um, like maybe business. Maybe you are an entrepreneur, you own your own business and you're just creating and you could even be creating a new product here in regards to your business or some add some adding some new to your inventory here. Uh, or this could just be like if you're a content creator, some picking up or uh, something like that, some type of shadow ban or restriction being lifted. Uh, it's like stuff is about to start improving for you. And so like, you got people that ain't happy about it, but so what? Fuck them folk. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we got the four of pentacles here. Somebody's also going to be, I don't know, like somebody's going to be watching some pick up for you and be pissed off and hoping that it starts to slow down again and all of that weird crap. Yeah, sneaky ass person sneaking it and being and creep man look uh i'm not giving light to that energy in this reading because this energy is uh that i'm getting uh in this reading is something that's very powerful very uh beautiful very abundant this person that don't want to see you with it let they hate and ass stay on the sideline so i'm gonna end the reading right there